Last time we welcomed our dear friend Adrian on board Sisu, and then we backtracked to Bekwa and Tobago Keys, where we introduced him to so much lobster, it is scary. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are approaching one umbrella island. Imagine one umbrella island. And there's really just one umbrella on the island. We will show you later. It's it's over there. You cannot see it. It's a couple of boats coming out, but it is somewhere here. Look. That is the one umbrella island. And in the bigger scheme of things, it is somewhere there. There is one umbrella island. So, Pietro, can you battery? We are going to run out of a battery and we are on our way to the one umbrella island. So, Pietro still on Sisu, luckily. So, she can get us a one battery. Adrian has also a lot of cameras. We have a drone here. No, he has a drone here. And that is the one umbrella island somewhere there it's just one umbrella on the island we anchored sisu and then it was just a short little dinghy trip and we were on this cute little island so there is tepex <laughs> and here's the whole island the whole whole island and then the one umbrella One umbrella, and there's all these goodies hanging here. You must come underneath and you see all the chimes and stuffies. That's our cameraman doing the, the circumnavigation single-handedly, one hand. <laughs> <laughs> A single-handed sailor around, circumnavigate around the island. And then of course it was our turn to do the circumnavigation, but at least we got some exercise in. And the bar lady yes, is yes. serving carob or rum punch. Or a rum punch. Make your pick. I'll, I'll take a carob. Are oh, you going to have a carob? Yeah. And in the air, and the sun was almost acting as a spotlight just for you. Making flowers bloom, days are made for you. You make me weak in the knees. I'm double you and me. So, darling. Away before I could say that all I want is you and to be near, standing where you are. I'll give you my heart, peace when we're apart. But then he walked by, you see, he walked by, and I started to smile, got up and took him by the hand. Now I understand that he is your man. You make me. After weighing anchor at one umbrella island, it was just a little hop over to Union Island. So the guys went to shore to do some provisioning and they took this time to catch up because they haven't seen one another for quite some time. Say that all I want is you and to be near, standing where you are. I'll give you my heart, peace when we're apart. You see what by and start at smile God. And you know how the saying goes when a plane passes over it is definitely time for a beer. Your man you make me weak in the knees and 
then it was time to go and introduce Adrian to the cute little bar built entirely on conch shells. Story of Happy Island, initial stage 2002, is when he started. 2003, that's the foundation of the island. And in 2004, the challenges got me. 2006, it just went on and on and on. So that is Jaunty. He's the owner, operator and builder of Happy Island. What he did is he went and collected conch shells all over the island from all the little restaurants. And then he built this entire bar on top of the conch shells. And he also claims that he's dinghy drowned a couple of times because he would overload it. Next morning we visited Chatham Bay, which is on the western side of Union Island. We haven't been here before. So it's all new grounds. How sweet is this? Every day Adrian would send a little video message to his little daughter oh, cool. Michaela. Um, you must enjoy your horse riding and um, give Goosey and Grandad a hug from me and you must have a fantastic day. Chat a little bit later. Love you very much. Send me more kisses. You only sent me two. I need more. Bye. <laughs> we left <coughs> Clifton Bay and we are now here in Chatham Bay, Chatham Bay and there's a, there looks like one, two, three, four, five, five beach bars and a hotel, pretty nice. So I think we need to go and investigate. So I dropped the pegs and got a dinghy key. Let's, let's go, Ooh. so let's go and find the beer, or rum. So we got our anchors and everything ready, but we found a dodgy dinghy dock. <laughs> I hope this thing is going to hold me. And then we're going to go to Sunset Beach and restaurant. Wifi, that's a wifi. So this is the place. And a couple of t-shirts that you can maybe save. And a huge Maltese flag. And this is it. Check, check, check. This was a nice place. It was the most amazing banana colada. <laughs> banana colada. And we have got a South African flag here, so we're feeling very at home. Oh, it's on this side. It is over there. Very faded, but it's there. <laughs> and then also the view. And the music. There's another bar over there, it's open. These ones are closed, closed. There's a flag, but it's closed. Okay. That one looks open. So this place looks alive as well. <laughs> Lots of people. Not always a good thing here in COVID time. Yeah. 
It's another typical night on Sisu. As you can see, the cameraman has awoken. Ah, he's awake. <laughs> he's, uh, he's awake. I don't know. English is my second language. Is it? <laughs> Sorry, the light's very low. The cameraman is not uh, performing optimally yet. Same couch. Person. The guys have had a day out and we are trying to have a braai ribs which you can't see but I'm going to tell you it's going to taste amazing and then the crew decided <laughs> The cameraman um, a resident cameraman come DJ decided enough is enough yeah. <laughs> and here in the kitchen is something cooking. Pietri, what are you cooking tonight? Uh, we're doing, oh, we are doing spaghetti carbonara with focaccia bread. We have rosemary tweaks, so it's going to be without the rosemary tweaks. I can quickly run across to the beach and I'm sure on the yeah, supermarket yeah, we'll have it. Some leaves. But remember, we're in the Caribbean, so you're going to pick the wrong leaves. Yeah, the leaves that we're going to get here is going to make us some... Um, um <laughs> yeah that so that is what we're making mm. and we've got these noisy neighbors next door oh. they just moved in a little bit earlier today and they've got all their lights on it looks like a, a disco rental. yeah it's a rental it's very very bright we at eiv this baby is 160 feet long and it cruises at 11 knots. The rental will put you back about $300,000 a week plus expenses. So in other words, you still have to pay dockage fees, beverages, food, fuel, everything extra. So that's a base price and it accommodates 10 guests and has nine crew on board. And it also boasts an elevator for extra comfort. <laughs> We've got enough wind uh, and we're doing about six knots. I do have one of the engines on the leeward side because we our electricity, the solar panels didn't work this last four days, but you can see I can actually put it in neutral. And you will see we will even keep our, if not going higher, but yeah, 21 knots already. And we are on reef 2, we are on reef 2. So that is reef 3 that you see over there, so reef 2 is, is now on. But look at these waves, they are incredible. This is the little cat in front of us. But just look, you can see it's disappearing almost completely. And then coming up, or oh, the holes com disappear completely. It is not easy. And right in front of him, it's even breaking waves. And right in front of us is a little mono. I hope that one all knows we are on starboard deck. I'm not on engines now, so I am on starboard deck. Sailing, a sailing vessel. So that one is definitely on port deck. So I am the stand on vessel, if I remember correctly from the Corex. So one of the reasons why I didn't take a line that 
that catamaran is taking. Ooh. It's going to be difficult to show you guys. Is that if you can see in front of him, there's a lot of breaking waves, and that's right in the middle of the acceleration zone. We're also going a little bit rough, but that dude over there is going to be in for some. Just check those cresting waves there right in front of him. Yep, he's going up and down. I I'm very happy I didn't take that line. And we are already here constantly on 24, 25. So I can just imagine he is doing even worse there. So I made us a little bit slower by putting the wind vane on 40. The wind is quite high, but it, the, the swells is also getting a little bit short and there's now between that island and that island there's now like an interference pattern going on here. So we get waves bent by that one coming this way and waves bent by that one going this way. So and that's why the in the middle it is really bad. And in the meantime, this is what it looked like behind Sisu. And this was our passage back to St. Vincent, where we soon have to say goodbye to dear old Adrian. And um, see how comfortable he became with Sisu, even standing on the back of the sugar scoop. So please join us next week when we have some more fun with Adrian around.